quite interested in the sensation of not moving. Because yeah. I've done experiments where people have stuck needles, again, into my nerves and recorded for hours. You have to keep your hand still. Oh dear. If you don't move at all, your hand begins to feel very different. You've got yeah. this strong desire to move. Yes. Well, certainly I did. Yeah. I wonder what the sensation is of not moving for a long time. It's painful, really. I, I haven't sat, I haven't moved out of this chair all mm. morning. Mm. And the leg and the thigh muscles are hot now, and they're yes. aching and they're static, and I can't do anything about it. It's like the cramp. You've got to move, and you can't, mm -hmm. and it's very, very painful. It's so frustrating. Well, what's it like to sit in a chair all day, being able to feel, but not being able to move? Again, the chair is digging into my back. My feet are very cold and my hands are very warm. And that's quite odd. Because it feels really strange for them to be so still for this long. And then there's the thing of Movement in the hands, something I'm usually pretty aware of, gives you a much stronger experience of texture. And when they're still, it's much fainter, it's like a periphery. I, I am a little bit aware of the texture. That's actually because my legs as I talk are moving a little bit. There's some kind of tiny amount of movement going when I speak and breathe. Also now I've slipped down, I've come to a position where it would be even harder to move. The chair's digging into me and there's more inertia. I'd say before you go, will you sit me up a little bit in the chair? Because it's very hard to breathe where I've got to now. Andy, do you think you can just pull me back and up a little bit in the chair? That's better, thank you. Oh, just could you, my, my shirt's all rocked up. At the back, yeah. it's all rocked up. <laughs> Going to a hole. Is that better? Mm. Because he couldn't move, people treated his body as being pathological, mm. inert. Yes, just like but he that. has sensation, he had sensation normally, and yet he had no normal sensation of touch because people only ever touched mm. him as someone with motor neuron disease. And feel movement perfectly well, and yet all day he was sat still. So at a very simple level, you would say to anyone who's in his position with motor neuron disease, well, we have to give them some sort of meaningful movement, some sort of meaningful sensory input to their bodies. Because it's almost inhuman to have someone bereft of movement but still having sensation. Stillness as a word for me has something chosen in it. Almost. Yes, I, mean, I mean, stillness yes. in nature is some, it's something we crave as well as movement. When, I, when we first were standing still, I was really remembering um, 
having just been moving and I could sort of feel it in myself still and then and then I was very aware as I sat stiller of the little bits of movement that there were still in the leaves. And then there was also a kind of flight of birds so I was very aware of that and then I also noticed that when I moved a little bit even the trees kind of moved a little bit more. And then I remembered Michael talking about wishing that he could be in a situation where he could feel rain on his face and wind. say you said it was worst at night is that because that's also you know everyone else is asleep there aren't people yeah, and around yeah it's gone quiet and, yeah. and then you may hear people outside go past right and you think why why aren't i walking past right why why aren't, why can't i just walk down the mm. road there and when it's raining you think marvelous to have that rain beating into my face mm -hmm. and uh, be walking along mm even if it is cold. Mm. You know.